Good morning, it's Monday the 8th of August, a beautiful sunny day down here in South Australia. I've been given a possum box that's been taken over by some of these lovely girls. They've been in there for a little while, it's chock-a-block. They were on a pine tree, so all of this propolis is um, pine resin. Very, very bitter, but very useful for them. They'd covered the whole hole up. So what I've done, I've brought it home. Uh, they're very healthy. They're not too defensive. So I'm, uh, I didn't get any stings while I was taking it down. But uh, it'll be a different matter when I've take, I'm going to take the box apart and pop it in and nuke that's ready for them. I've taken the precaution of a, just a light veil. Got a lit smoker. Please excuse the hen in the background. She's uh, a bit grumpy because she can't lay. Somebody else in the nest. And it's a bit windy today, sorry. Now the side piece on the opposite side from the camera pulls out, but um, I'd rather have just take the back off. So I'm going to see if I can get in here and just lift this out. A few taps, a little bit of gentle smoke. Should get us somewhere near. What have we got inside? A little bit jointed back. Honey. had possums in it in the past, but uh, now it has bees. Very nice ones. Not bad, I'll just take you in for a zoom. Pretty solid honeycomb, fairly old. I'll get myself a bucket. Very nice. Right, they're still fairly well behaved. Even though I'm raiding their honey stores. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Not quite into the brood nest yet. Plenty of pollen. And these girls were in Port Elliot and they've had a really good innings by the looks. Plenty of nectar. Yeah. Some slightly younger honey. Right, what we got here? Honey all the way down to here, and then all the brood come. 
so join both sides. So I've got to squish too many bees, so I'll just have to move them out of the way gently. I let them orient on the box in a new spot for about a week, but now I've moved this box about 20 meters away. And any little flyout here should go back to the uh, new box. Nice layout. First frame, go in and Nice healthy brood, just about to hatch. Tiny bit of chalk brood, but in a damp environment it's only to be expected, so uh, we'll see how they clean that up. Right, lovely arc of brood here, pollen, older honey. This is the fourth or fifth uh, blade of wax inside. And uh, they're good, only a couple of stings so far on my bare arms. I've got a veil on my head. So I've got some drone brood here coming up, which is fine for this time of year. And I'd just be getting ready to find a new home, and this would have definitely swarmed. They had no room for expansion. Okay, lovely. Still keeping an eye out for Her Majesty, I haven't seen her yet. There's a lot of bees clustered on the outside. Mm. Apart from that tiny bit of chalk brood, no sign of any disease. New eggs, young larvae, quite nice. Just a bit of trim on this one. And another nice frame. Probably the last frame of brood, but there might be some more towards the front door. Yeah. 
here. Not yet. And again, it's starting to get a little antsy, but uh, I don't blame them. Nice young brood, eggs, larvae. Young brood, brood ready to hatch, a few drones. So what we got on top, a few of them here. A few left inside. And some nice ones in the new gear. It's a bit sunny and shady, sorry, I'm hoping that's not too much it's too much in shadow for you. A damn good cluster there. Start getting this out without squishing too many of the girls. Eh? There you go. Come on. Move along, move along. Overall, quite a gentle nest. Behind even more honey. And lots and lots of girls. Okay. Could be hiding in this little corner here or just in the, the main cluster. What I'm going to try and do 
We're getting to run into the new nucleus. Okay. If I'm lucky, they're going to couple cooperate. Queen Clipper ready just in case I see her. Now I'm just going to gently move them by hand. Bring them around a bit. There you go. Sorry. They're certainly well. Well clustered. I don't want to let go. Just going to try and pop them in front of the hive, in their new hive that is. So far they're just walking in. Good. going into the box so which is nice which is very nice look at that that's lovely to see again my apologies for the, for the hens so I'll give them another tap now Like that one. Give my arm a bit of smoke. Well, there's no doubt about it, they've adopted the box, which is great. Got her! Oh, she's a beauty! She's glorious! Beautiful girl! There she is! That's it in the cage you go, darling! <laughs> She's also an escape artist by the look. But yep, yeah, great. So, big beautiful queen. 
successful cutout. These have dropped through the box. All good fun. Yeah, room on this one. There we go. Big beautiful go. Copper in here temporarily. Right in the front. Into room. The girls will wear in time on that one. Hopefully soon. We'll go and have my lunch. Thank you for watching. There's another one from Rose Herbs and Honey. The beautiful town of Victor Harbour, South Australia. Very, very early August. It's not even the official spring yet. And we've already had two swarms about 70 k's north of us. And it's 19 degrees centigrade today, 70 Fahrenheit. Beautiful day. Absolutely glorious. So, got a few hives up there on my roof and they've been working really well and I normally put a, a swarm box up there as well so I better get that underway pretty damn quick but for the moment from, as I say a beautiful sunny sky take care and enjoy your spring or autumn if you're in the northern hemisphere bye bye